guys, it's Lara. Um, week 45 weigh-in. Um, so this week was not very good. Um, just telling you the truth. Uh, it was just, like I told, said in my last video, I think it was my Insanity video, um, I had just discovered on Sunday that I was like five weeks, four or five weeks behind in all three of my classes that I'm in right now. Um, I'm doing them just through distance learning, so that's how I managed to get so far behind and didn't realize it. Um, so this week was pretty, I was pretty stressed, I was like anxious, emotional, da 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 da. Um, I made the mistake of buying cookies, like a case of dad's cookies, and I've eaten most of them. Um, so that's not good. Um, yeah, I just, honestly, and this whole week has been a blur. Like, I can't even, right before starting making this video, I was trying to think of, like, what I ate last weekend, or what I had for my cheat on Friday, and I cannot, for the life of me, remember. Like, it's just been such a blur. Um, and yeah, like, I've... Yesterday wasn't bad, food-wise. I think that was, like, my one saving grace for weigh-in today, but really weigh-in... I don't know. I'll get into that. Um, but yesterday wasn't bad. Wednesday was terrible. Um, so I'm doing Insanity, right? I started... This was my first week. Um, and on Wednesday was supposed to be Cardio Recovery, and I only did, like, half of it, and I decided I'm just going to skip that workout every week because... It's just long, annoying stretches, and I just don't like that sort of stuff. Um, and so it'll be, it's kind of the same thing as like P with P90X. I skipped Yoga X um, because it was like, if I would have told myself, no, I need to do Yoga X like all or nothing, then it would have been nothing. I just wouldn't have done it. Um, and then Saturday, it would be the same thing. Like if I tell myself, no, I have to do cardio recovery every week, um, I just wouldn't do it. And then I would just stop doing insanity so it's just I have to find what works for me um but I kept up with the other workouts so I'm just gonna when I'm doing insanity I'm just gonna take Wednesdays and Saturdays off of insanity um and then you know I might go for a run or do hot yoga or something different um on at least one of those two days so I am still active six days a week um but yeah so I'm doing insanity so Wednesday oh, I was just feeling like really emotional Wednesday, just upset, stressed out, anxious, emotional, whatever. Um, so I went to go do my insanity workout and then I was like, this friggin' sucks. And I did like half of it and then I turned it off and then I went and like ate a bunch of cookies and whatever. <sighs> so anyways, um, yeah, it just hasn't been a very good week. It just started with, like I say, I don't even remember what I ate last weekend because it's just been such a friggin' blur. Um, but yeah, so I, it just, it, it was one of those weeks where I ate badly, like, on Friday, and it just carried all the way through, and it got to, the, like, it's like, I ate badly, and I wish I could remember what it was. Like, I ate something, and I was like, this made me feel like crap. It made me feel unmotivated. I got that feeling of, like, unmotivated, and I want to eat more bad stuff. And that's kind of what I've been struggling with all week. Um, that being said, like, it's like, when I have, a, like, my bad week now is nothing compared to what a bad week would have been for me, like, even six months ago, even three months ago, even, like, a month ago. Um, it's just, it's getting better and better and better. My whole mentality for my weight loss this time has been, it's a lifestyle change. I have to do something that I can do for the rest of my life. And obviously, for the rest of my life, not every week's going to be perfect. I'm going to have those weeks that are, like, you know, not good, where I'm, like, eating poorly and stuff like that. But what's important is to somewhat keep it at least somewhat in moderation and um, to get right back on track. Like, you can't live in the past. You have to live in the present when you're losing weight. And that's something that I've really discovered this time around. Like... If you ate a chocolate bar this morning, don't let that affect your food choice now. You know what I mean? Like, you can't live in the past. It's all about the present. Like, so what if you screwed up earlier? So what if you screwed up yesterday? 
that doesn't have to affect what you're doing now. So that's kind of just how I've been. So anyways, um, my scale, I have a bit of a scale story to tell you guys. Um, we found our old scale. Um, when we moved, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but when we moved, I had said like, oh, I can't find my our old scale and whatever, whatever. And I had remembered seeing it out by the storage place when we were loading the, the U-Haul up with our stuff. And it was just out loose. So I, I thought maybe we had left it behind and somebody took it or something. And I was, I was so upset about it because it was a really good scale. It was like, it was a Weight Watchers brand scale. Um, and it was like, I think it cost like 60 bucks or something when we got it. We got it a couple years ago. And, um... It, it's one of those ones that does like the body fat percentage and all this sort of stuff. And so I was really upset that we lost it. So I had just gone to Zeller's and got like a $20, another $20 digital scale or whatever. Um, and I found out that because when I first started here on YouTube, when I first started at Weight Watchers back in September, we were living with my parents. So I was using my mom's scale and my mom has a Weight Watchers brand scale as well. And a few weeks ago... Um, I'd gone over there on a Friday, and I'd weighed myself, obviously, that morning. And then when I was at her place, I was like, I'm just going to weigh myself, just out of curiosity. And her scale was like two pounds less than this scale that, this cheapo scale that I got from Zeller's that I've been using for the past however many months. So, um, from the transition of moving from my parents' place and weighing on my mom's scale to, you know, coming here, getting my new cheapo scale... I gained two pounds, well, like, on the scale, because the scale that I've been using has been weighing me two pounds heavier than my mom's scale that I originally started on, and our old Weight Watchers scale that I just found is two pounds lighter than the scale that um, I've been using. So I'm switching back to my old Weight Watchers scale. Um, it's obviously going to benefit me this week because it's two pounds less, but you know what? I went up those two pounds like back in April when we moved so it's all gonna balance out in the end so anyways I weighed in this morning on my Weight Watchers scale at 154.9 which is loss of 0.1 and do the math if I was using my scale that I used last week I would weigh 156.9 which would be a gain of 1.9 so yeah not very good but I expected it um, so anyways, 154.9 is my weight this week. I am just about to 60 pounds lost. 154.0 will be 60 pounds lost, and I am so excited um, about that. So anyways, this coming week, um, I'm contemplating doing food vlogs. I'm putting it out there so you may see food vlogs from me if I have time to post them every day. That's my only concern because... I got caught up, like, two of my three classes now, I'm actually a week ahead. This is how hard I've been working this week. Um, I'm actually a week ahead in two of my three classes now, so I'm just behind in my accounting class, but I'm not worried about that because I have, like, eight weeks left of that class, and it's accounting, which I'm pretty good at, um, so I'm not worried about that, but, yeah, so this next week, um, I want to just eat perfect and just do really, really well, so... Um, I'm going to do food vlogs um, for the next week because then we're going to go out of town and then it's my best friend's wedding and I'm made of honor and stuff like that and I don't want to get all bleh. Like, I can do a lot of damage in a week so and I don't want to do that. So, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do this week. Um, otherwise, I think that's everything. Yeah, I have two more videos that I'm going to make after this one. I'm going to do the Hot for Halloween challenge video and uh, the change challenge, or I don't know if it's a challenge or whatever, but you know, the change thing that truly Jess is doing. Um, so I have two more videos to make after this one. So you're going to see a lot of videos from me today. Uh, so yeah, I hope everybody had a really great week last week. I hope you all have a great weekend and a great week next week, and I will see you guys. Thank you for watching.